My journey is a journey of uh, change and hope. My father believed fundamentally that um, one could change one's future. That sense of possibility, that sense that you can create a better future for yourself and for others, that's driven me uh, for the better part of 25 years. I was born to uh, a poor family of farm workers at the time where South Africa was very divided and we have in all 14 siblings having as big a family as we had, uh, existence was quite tough. In the first few years of my life, my highest ambition would have been to be uh, an expert tractor driver uh, on the farm, and, and that would be my destiny. At the time that I got to grade six, it was that time where the nationalist government was separating African people on the basis of tribe. In the tragedy of being moved to a homeland, I escaped uh, permanent poverty in that I could get education. So I was accepted at uh, the University of California, Berkeley, to do a master's degree in mathematics. A big opportunity, really, that uh, I thought uh, I would take with both hands. It was a mind and a world-changing uh, experience to be uh, in that type of a setup. The quality of education was uh, incomparable to what um, I had before and shifted the way I thought about the world, as it were. I couldn't really see myself for the rest of my life in a highly specialized area of study. I thought I wanted to break out. So I took my, my savings, my pensions, cashed those in, decided to go do an MBA at VETS. The journey began in the mid-90s. I was part of a, a small black business called the Kahisa Trust Investment Company, and we had invested as an advisor. And really, at that early beginning, it was amazing for us that investor gave us their most senior corporate financiers to advise us. In 2008, I decided to step down as an executive from my own business. I concentrated most of my time to Investec as a, a non-executive director. In around 2017, the board of Investec was looking at uh, the transition from the founders, Stephen Kosev, um, Bernard Kento, and Lynn Berger. The board asked me to step in as a joint chief executive. I felt that Investec provided a platform that one could use to achieve a lot. I accepted the role of right. Joint Chief Executive. Each of our businesses, we need to be clear what strategic actions we are taking. In the previous reporting... The period, role is quite a, a significant action. role, a powerful role, and it can easily get to your head. You always have to remind yourself that you are in a role and your role is transitory and that uh, you have to rely on the wisdom of the people that work with you, both your immediate team, but the rest of the eight and a half thousand people that work in the bank and wealth team. You need a group of professionals that are steeped in markets and have a proven track record, and they can declutter uh, the noise and the volatility and bring their insights for the benefit of our clients.
We have uh, the Global Investment Strategy Group, what we call the GISG, a group of very experienced investment professionals that are based around our offices across the world. And they bring their insights to bear on the work that we do, whether it be Annalise from Switzerland, it, it be John from London, or Prof Kento from Cape Town. Uh, they bring uh, the collective experience of markets uh, to the benefit of our clients. While the founding generation is moving on, the DNA of the business remains. Uh, so we remain entrepreneurial, we remain highly people-focused, we remain highly client-centric um, in our approach, and we remain a business that is very optimistic, that embraces change and diversity, and that continues to look for opportunities in any environment. <laughs> I think no one is an island. I am where I am because I was part of a particular family. Having given our daughter the chance to study and to feather her own life as it were, it gives me enormous strength to see them uh, succeed in life, to see my grandson uh, grow up, and to see in him uh, the hopes of the country as it were. I think I'm uh, somebody who's always been hopeful about building a future that is better than where I am. Well, I'm passionate about the power of education, both at an individual level, but also at a community and societal level. But for education, I think my life would have turned out very differently. The force of progress will continue to sweep everything aside. My life is such an example. <laughs>